Oh, it's dark. Well, good morning from St. Thomas. Oh, yeah. Today is another beautiful day in the Caribbean, Mon, and uh, we are off on our day of adventures. Yes, we've got a local taxi driver that's going to take us around, give us a little tour of the island, drop us off at a beach, bring some friends with us. Oh, yeah. We're going to have some fun. Let's go. All right, so we've hooked up with Mr. Ivan. He's taking us back to the van, and we He's are nice off to guy. tour mm -hmm. the island, Mon. <laughs> Look at this. Our first stop is this overlook. Look at this, you guys. So there's two different port cruise ports here. This one right here where all the sailboats are is where we were last time we came to St. Thomas. But you can see Harmony of the Seas over there now. So we're on the other side of the bay. Um, God, this is such a beautiful island. I love coming up here and getting this overlook. It's just beautiful. And he was saying um, in the tour that the lowest recorded temperature on this island is 68 degrees. And they were freezing. I couldn't imagine. That's like perfect temperature to me. But right now we're hanging, I think he said 91. But there's a nice breeze so it doesn't feel so hot. I thought it was interesting. He said there's no venomous species on the island. Which I was like, how would you know that? Everything handmade. standing up here overlooking Megan's Bay. Megan's Bay is one of the 10 most beautiful beaches in the world. And that's where we're going. That's where we're going in a little bit. But man, it is just gorgeous. So we've seen the overlook we were at last time. This is our first time at this overlook. This island's gorgeous. Uh, these islands all the way out in the distance. These are the British Virgin Islands, namely Tortola, Virgin Gorda, Jos Van Dyke, Anigata, Norman Island, Peter Island, you know, and the list goes on and on and on. But the body of water that separates the British from the U.S. island is called Drake's Passage, and it's right there. The first British Virgin Island would be Jos Van Dyke. It's right across here. And uh, Jos Van Dyke becomes a mecca during New Year's Eve. This is where all celebrities would come to enjoy or to ring in the New Year. That's what it looks like here. Just beneath us, uh, we used to have one golf course here called the Mahogany Run. But since the hurricanes of 2017, um, it has become like a Jurassic Park, you know, I mean, the greens have not been cared for. Actually, it's up for sale. So if anyone wants to invest in the Virgin Islands, here you go. Okay, next stop, we are on the world-famous mountaintop, which is 1,550 feet high. And uh, we're going to go out on the platform right now to take in the views, and then we are going to go in to the building because they also have what they say the is the famous banana daiquiri over seven million sold. <laughs> yeah, we gotta try that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I thought the last view was good. We just got higher and higher and it's nice and cool up here. There's a breeze blowing. We've got that view of Megan's Bay down. We can see the British Virgin Islands in the distance. It's a stellar weather today. It's blue skies, sunshine. We get the world famous uh, banana daiquiri. We have to go get one of those. We'll be back in a minute. All right, now it is time for our world famous banana daiquiri. Over 7 million daiquiris sold. It's gonna be 7 million and one. So this banana daiquiri does not only have the rum in top, he pours a huge floater on the top. And so I'm walking out trying not to spill the floater because I can't just like sip that off the top. I can't do that. And you sure get out you can. now you get outside and the wind hits that floater and starts blowing it away. So anyway, let's give this a taste. 
That's smooth. Definitely banana. The more mixes, the better mm. it's gonna taste. That's good. You know, you really need to mix it up real nice and stir it. Well, there's a rum already in it, and then he put that floater on top. So you get a good even pull on it. Ooh, yeah, we're gonna mix flavor. that up. I see why they're world famous. They're good, they really are. Cheers to healthy daiquiris. Cheers. Because they have real bananas in them. <laughs> It is a taste homemade. Oh God, yes! It's so, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, these are, this is just like your morning breakfast drink. Like yeah, with fresh bananas in them. Right. Even better though, because it has rum in it. <laughs> <laughs> even better. You don't even taste the alcohol. That's how you exactly. know. Exactly. That's how you know it's yes. dangerous. Cheers. 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 Two banana daiquiri capital. <laughs> I drink too fast. I got brain freeze. Oh, I, I, I'm doing little sips because I, I I had very low expectations for a banana daiquiri. Mm -mm, this is good. What's up? Cruising rum and diet coke. Uh -oh. <laughs> We're going hard at like nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> So this shop is massive and I want to buy a whole bunch of things but we're trying to limit the things that go into our suitcase home. So I found a Christmas ornament because we do collect Christmas ornaments and have a tree that's nothing but travel ornaments. So it's a real sand dollar painted with a Santa U.S. Virgin Islands. And then for Ethan and Hennessy's, look what I found. It's rare amazing. to find Hennessy's name, so I'm, I'm very excited about this. You know what? Hennessy's is more common in the Caribbean. It's, yes, it's a Caribbean name, yeah. so I'm excited to find this. And I'm gonna send, and they are ornaments, so they can put them on their Christmas tree. So happy about that. I love the this. The trip was worth it just for that. Just for this, yes. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> Is it good? Does it feel Well, we made it to Megan's Beach and uh, we've all congregated right here. We're going to lather up our sunscreen and hit that beautiful blue water. But first, let's get a beer. Oh, Maybe we'll apply the sunscreen and then we'll go get a beer and then we'll hit the water. But anyway, so far this beach is looking pretty nice, y'all. We made it to Megan's Bay Beach. This is one of the top 10 beaches in the world. We've been to St. Thomas before and we went to Sapphire Beach. This is pretty stunning. Sapphire Beach is beautiful too. So it's a public beach. You pay $5 per person to get on the beach. Um, there is a restaurant, bar, little gift shop over here that's kind of open to everybody uh, ten dollars for pina coladas five dollars for beers the food is over there it smells really good we haven't ordered anything yet but at some point we're gonna have to eat today but um yeah beautiful beach guys that drink that are with us say that the drinks are a little bit weak so just FYI you may you may encounter that but I'm could be the bartender. I'm holding the beer. Give it here. <laughs> here, let me turn it where you can get to it. There you go. Don't show the label. They don't, they don't pay me. <laughs> yeah, there's a little drop right here. Careful, careful. I'm good. Oh, the sand is so. Yeah, there's a drop off, honey. The sand is really soft. I like that. So, you know, some beaches don't have soft sand. This is lovely. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! Cheers, everybody! Cheers! Where's your drink, man? Cheers! I didn't get one. We're Sounds finished like us. There's them few and they're all dead. Darn tootin'. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, this is Ivan from uh, Ivan's Tours. Uh, we're looking forward to you coming down to St. Thomas. Come on down. Let me take you around. Let me show you the island. Let me show you a good time. This is us right here. So come on down, folks. 
Ivan will take you around. Yes. So we're looking forward to you being here sometime soon. This is paradise, St. Thomas. There's no better place on earth. Looking forward, coming down. dinner at Wonderland tonight. I'm so excited about this. It's such a unique experience. This Wonderland is bigger than the one on Odyssey and I heard there's the Mad Hatter running around. So hopefully we can see him. Super cool food experience. Let's go eat. That I like. That's the liquid lobster. And it tastes like a little bitty small lobster. And it's got like a little tomato -y flavor uh, around it's a it. Fist. Yeah, that's really good. Over the lips through the gums. Look how stomach here it comes. It's got some crunchy bits, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Tomato Ooh. water shot. It's just different, man. It's like, you know, it's not what you expect that to taste like. But yeah. Charles liked it. He's like, I like it. And Mike did too. They they all yeah. liked it. It's just not for me. Does it taste like dirt? It tastes like dirt. <laughs> Same. Yep, not a fan of that. No, nope, not a fan of that one. She didn't like that one. Eat from the bottom up. Eat from the bottom, bottom up? Yep. Bottom up. Okay, yes. Here we go. Oh, I, got the show. Oh, I, got the show. I think I ate it wrong last time. I, I think, think we I, did too. I, I went in like this. Okay. Keep going. Yeah. Okay. So it's kind of like that's fried. Yeah, it is fried. That's what I'm looking at it going. You can't. Fried. You can't eat that. Fried stuff. I thought it was crispy. Oh, oh no. And there's crab in there. Have you gotten to the crab meat? boardwalk tonight because the aqua theater is back here we've got a reservation for the 10 o'clock aqua show everybody that's seen it already says it's the best show on the ship some say it's the best ship best show they've ever seen on a cruise ship so i'm excited for this
this show is like nothing I've ever seen before. It's insanely good. I gotta say, okay. that was awesome. It was one of the coolest things. I mean, this is a show, but it was a major performance too. It's outdoors, there's wind blowing, so they've got the wind issue, oh, they've yes. got the movement of the ship, and they're jumping like off platforms and walking across tight ropes. It's just insane. You saw that tight rope, right? And it was so good. I thought he was gonna fall off a couple of times, but, cause it's gotta be crazy windy up yeah. there. That was fantastic. I had a huge smile on my face the entire show. Yeah, the, like... the music was good. <laughs> I mean, and then the breeze out here just feels amazing. Yeah. So, anyway, that was awesome. Definitely do that when you come on Harmony of the Seas. Gotta do the Aqua Theater.